ultimately, in order to confirm that a site is safe for people in the environment, we would need to drill many holes in the area to fully understand the nature of the geology at depth. We can study right from the ground surface down to about a kilometer below ground, which takes us well past a potential repository level around 500 meters. Um, we can study the core to understand the nature of the fractures in the rock, the mineralogy of the rock, and it also tells us a lot about the groundwater in the area. In order to reach this point, we've done uh, a whole series of desktop studies using information that was already available. We also did some initial field studies, but also involve uh, discussions and conversations with local people in the area, including First Nation and Métis communities. So it's not just the, the geoscience or the technical aspects, but also that uh, local community input as well. The target depth of this borehole is going to be 1,000 meters below ground surface. Uh, we expect to run about 30 meters a day on average, as we call. Uh, the core size is uh, 96 millimeters wide on the bit, 61 millimeters about on the diameter of the core, and the core is extracted in three meter runs. So by the time we include testing and the future work, it's about a three to four month campaign. First of all, you should be, um, you know, a helper first for about a few years to get the feel of the, the job you're doing at hand. Also, too, you got to know what's going on down the hole, all your muds, everything like that. It has to do with your torque, you know, your penetration, and just get a feel for the machine. You can hear it, you can watch your gauges, make sure everything's good, nothing's going on down the hole. We are looking at the core to like describe it, to look at the geology and like um, mostly the fracturation. And after that, we are taking some part of it to send to a laboratory. The NWMO operates under the Leave No Trace policy. Part of our commitment to this policy is that all our products on site, we bring in from other locations and we ensure that we take them off site as well. So our drill water comes in from a municipal source and our, all our drill waste is just taken out and disposed of by licensed contractors. Once drilling is complete, we have up to a kilometer of core available for us to analyze and interpret. So over the next year, we send samples to labs for analysis and we're interpreting the data that's coming from those analyses.